try to make a video about these coconuts. So I'm super dehydrated, so I went to the store to go get some coconuts. And this is what I come up with. I got what we have, okay? Harmless Harvest. First one on the thing. I only bought this to drink it on the way home and totally forgot about it. So what's the use of drinking that? And these are the Janos coconuts. I wanted to test the pH on these. And then we already know the cold coconuts are no shit. They are shit. But I'm taking what I can get right now because I'm super hydrated. I didn't even realize that uh, when you do the pickup orders, make sure you check your shit before you drive away. They gave me this coconut. Sounds like it's empty to me. There's no even no liquid at all in that one. Yeah, that should be hydrating. And then this one doesn't even have a label on it. So I don't know. And then here's another piece of shit. We know it's a piece of shit because it says Melissa's coconuts on it. And Melissa's radiates her coconuts. So let's see. Alright, back in action. I got my test strips. So let's check first guys up here. So I'm on day 17 on the water fast and I'm severely dehydrated. And so I drove all over town trying to find some coconuts. Well, my truck is broke down, so I had to have my nephew drive me all over town to get these coconuts. These are going to be good. This, I mean, looks good, tastes good, I know. Really good. Mm -mm -mm. Let's check it out. Test strips. So, we don't want alkaline coconut water because then you can't get hydrated. So far, looking good. The color's starting to go. Changing. So, for some reason, it doesn't show on the video like it shows in person now. The color is changing. Going towards the second pH. Well, that's it, man. Is it seven or not? It looks like it. Mmm. Holy crap, it tastes like candy. Let's try this one. Cold coconuts. Open up the dish. Okay, let's see what we got. Looks good. Mm -mm -mm. You want to see white meat and you want to see gold water. And if you see any coloring, then ditch it, man. Throw it away. I mean, sometimes I'll still drink them when they start uh, this coloring. Let's see this one. Looking the same, you know. Looking too close to the original color for my liking, but it is going towards the southern color. It's very hard to tell, man. I don't think any of their shit is alkaline. I think they're radiating them all, to be honest with you. So, I want to check out these ones. I want to open it. Um, I know what I'll do. Okay, so I got my meat thermometer. What else are you going to use it for? I'm going to use it to open the coconut. So these coconuts here, they got three eyes. So you got to pick which one. Which one? It should be that one, right? Yeah. Don't ask me how, but I always know which one it is. And this is the gift that happens when you're on day 17 on the water fast. So this water here is usually bad because they, these coconuts need to be refrigerated. But the people who work at the stores, you know, the people who eat cooked food and drink soda and beer, the ones who claim to be the experts on coconuts and say that they don't need to be refrigerated, they never drink a coconut a day in their life. They have no idea how to open one. And I guarantee you they would poke all three holes and it wouldn't open for them. Bad. It's bad. That pisses me off. Dumb bitch. Yeah. You don't know who I'm talking about when you go on my, uh, this one's hard. You hear it? Fuck you. Go on my last video and see what I got to say about, um, these stores over here. Hmm. Huh. No? 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 See what I mean? Like... I already know what hole it is. Let's see if it's bad. I don't know. That one doesn't taste as bad. 
This one's Melissa's, but we know it's not alkaline. No, we're going to test it though, aren't we? So far, I don't think any of these coconuts are alkaline. The color of the strip looks the same to me. Yellow ass shit. Radiating our coconuts. What? We're afraid we're going to get healthy? Why? Is the raw food community stop flapping their gums too much about these damn coconuts? So then these haters over here are saying, well, we'll fix them. Let's see. Um, yeah, that green spot was already on that paper. These are acidic. They're all acidic, man. I'm fed up. I'm seriously fed up with all your coconut companies. You all go shit in hat as far as I'm concerned. Let's just test this one for shits and giggles. We already know. It ain't no good. First of all, the color's pink. Where the hell do you get a pink fucking coconut water anywhere in nature? You don't. Pink coconut water means they're bad. Oh, and then they make some excuses on the label here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Doesn't taste nothing like coconut. And as we see, acidic. 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 Welcome to the world of acids. How are we supposed to get healthy? We need to be alkaline. We're not getting alkaline. We're not even getting alkaline water. We're getting fooled, folks. We're getting fooled. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. And all I know is I need to get hydrated. So, I'm going to break my fast. Because this scandalous ass town doesn't have any alkaline coconuts. And it's not just this town. It's your town too, man. They're all scandalous. Who are you voting for? Gross. I'm back. So, 17 days, no food. I want to keep going. I really do. Should I just drink these coconuts and suck it up? Maybe I will. But, here's what I did tonight. I went and I bought some avocados. Wait, I'm going to break a water fast on avocados? Why not? Why not? Sorry, I'm making sure I'm still here. I broke a dry fast on avocados. These avocados I got, they're hard. They're probably not ready yet. But, um, the way I see it, <clears throat> avocados are high water content fruit and they're very good to break a fast on. But you got a lot of people out there talking a lot of smack that don't know nothing about avocados. Oh, there's too much fat. Oh, there's too much. Oh, oh, oh. Liars. Where's there a label on avocado? Other than this piece of shit, but I'm seriously, like, is there any labels on avocados in nature? Is there any fat grams? Any calories? Like, don't listen to the bullshit, man. Listen to the people who do the work. That's me. I'm the one that did the mono fruit fasting on avocados. I haven't seen anybody else do it, but I did learn a very important lesson from it. You can only eat what your body can handle. Your body can't eat more than what it can handle, okay? So I got five avocados. You're going to sit there and eat them? Well, I might be full off of one. I might be full off of one and a half. I might be still hungry and eat the other half and eat two and be full. I might eat all five. Will I kill myself? No. I've eaten five avocados in a row plenty of times. That's how I started on this journey. With my avocados, that's how I made it this far. With the avocados, this is the holy fruit. This fruit is amazing, and we need fat. We need everything in these avocados, otherwise you wouldn't crave them. So anybody who talks shit about avocados or says they don't know, it's because they don't know. They really don't. They're ignorant. Going by the books, going by this and going by that, but they're not going by what they're not going by their experience. I am. I'm going by my experience. And what I'm telling you about avocados is we need avocados. We need this good fat to keep you going on a fruit diet because we need to stay on a fruit diet. The only way to succeed long term on a fruit diet is if you have the fats too. You need the fats. You need the healthy fats from the avocados, the dates, the bananas. Um, all of, all of the fruits have a fat, sure. But when you're talking about going to withdrawals, going to detox symptoms, and you're dealing with nerve rings, you're dealing with myelin sheath weakness, you're dealing with all kinds of issues with the nervous system, avocados will calm your ass down right away talking from experience talking about being on a fruit diet long term and then you get wigged out and then your nerves get real bad and then all of a sudden like what do i do i'm gonna break my fast i'm gonna go eat some cooked food no man eat a couple avocados calm your ass right down so listen to the person who does the work don't listen to these bullshit artists over here talking about what they read in books listen to the person who regenerated their colon on a fruit diet fruits and vegetables okay 100 percent raw so check out my proof 
regeneration video. I'm still working, man. I'm going. But it's not easy, and it's not just going on a raw food diet. You got to do lots of mono fruit fasting here and there. You got to do up your level. Check out the levels on my recipes page on higherleveldetox.com. You have to try a raw food diet. And you have to be hardcore, man. You can't say, oh, I have to cook for other people, so I can't do it. Do you hear that noise in the background? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm cooking. I haven't eaten in 17 days, but I'm cooking. So don't tell me that you can't do it. Don't give me excuses. Excuses are for people who want to play victim. You want to play the victim? Then go ahead. Peace out. But if you want to play the warrior, then subscribe to this channel and learn how. Follow the way I'm doing it, man. You just go on my website, higherleveldetox.com. Go to the recipes page. Look at the levels. Start at level three. If you can't do it, then, then you don't want to win. That's all I can say, man. It's pretty simple. I did it.